do something about it. And even, even bigger than that, there's been uh, uh, procedural and law changes to exclude the county, Pima County, from doing some of the basic uh, hand counts, double checks, things that would make the thing, make everybody feel more comfortable. That's the freakiest thing about this, is, is Pima County, the election division, actively made sure that they don't get audited. Isn't that weird? That's, Why would you do that? Why would you do that if you weren't trying? Right. You know, Brad, this is Pima County. <laughs> Not much surprises me anymore. That's the scary part. Now, I just found out, let's talk about electrical surges. It sounds like, no, I'm just kidding. It's just, so what are the specific things in this suit that's alleging what's going on and what are we looking to do to fix it? Well, you know, this suit is, I, I'm not particularly saying anybody cheated in the past. That's other suits. All I'm saying is let's make sure this one, 2012, nobody's cheap. Right? So all we want to do is do some auditing at the end to make sure that the computer number is the same thing that the paper ballot say. That's all. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, and it's not that complicated. And all you got to do is do some checking, look at the actual ballots, and then look at what the computer numbers. If they're the same, great. That's what we're hoping so you, to see. You pick a few key precincts, and you do the random samples, and you yeah. say, we're going to count actual computer versus ballot itself. Exactly. Exactly. You don't have to redo the whole thing. You don't have to count every single ballot. You just have to randomly select after the computer's already told you these are the numbers so nobody can go back and cheat and then look and then look at the actual ballot. How about the databases after the fact? I think Bill was telling us last time he was on there was two elections where the database after the election wasn't backed up. Right One was Marty <coughs> Renner's race in 2000 where he lost a very close election to, to Sheriff Bronson. Very, very close. I think it was 400 votes, 500 votes. The second was uh, the RTA vote in 2006. Yeah. Is that part of the dialogue too? The backup century. You know, for for this particular election, what, or this particular lawsuit, what we're saying is we've had problems. With that. Right, right. You know, and I'm not. We're not taking an opinion whether or not somebody actually went back and flipped something right, in the past. Right, right. What we're saying is it looks uncomfortable. Right. And so what we want to do is just let's go forward to make sure nothing happens gotcha. and nothing is taken from the voters from this election and then and then future elections. Gotcha. 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 Now, uh, how many people are a party to the suit? We have 12 different plaintiffs. And you're 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 a Democrat, right? No, you're not a Democrat. No, 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 no. I, I'm a Republican. I ran for uh, Republican yeah, office in 2008 when I was running for ANC Board of Supervisors. Right. Right. Brad was running for uh, County Town. Oh, okay. Yeah. So him and I, we'd follow each other in the stump speech, and he had a much better <laughs> one than me. I was always wanted to go before him because he was so good. I was so. Bad. We'd had him rocking it or Al Melvin talking <laughs> nuclear power. <laughs> Paul Ryan. <laughs> Doing my PowerPoints. And then we have uh, Bill Beard. Uh, you are uh, running for Pima County Recording. And why did you put your name on this suit, sir? Well, fundamentally, the, the part of the reason I decided to run for recorder is, uh, is part of the essence of this lawsuit. One of the concerns I have had from day one, the state law actually outlines the ability of the citizens to monitor elections. They do it through the political parties, but state law basically says when it comes to elections, it's the citizens that monitor and run the process. Pima County, for whatever reason, and you can argue whether they, it was corruption, incompetence, they uh, wanted to improve the efficiency and they kind of overlooked some of the rules, whatever reason you want to assign. Tucson Electric Power. <laughs> surges, exactly. The, the, the basic problem is they have kind of short-circuited some of the intent of the, ba of the basic election laws in the state of Arizona. It basically boils down to this. We're asking a court to step in and say two things. One, Pima County, follow state law. Pima County, allow the citizens to be restored to their rightful place in running elections by allowing multiple places in the system for us to do an audit of what actually happens on election day with the ballots. Two prime examples. Pima County has... Um, uh, said that in essence um, on election day at the end of the election day we no longer need to post on the door of the polling location um, what happens with the ballots that are, are cast in that election on that in, in at that polling location in that election in essence saying okay we're going to have a check to prevent someone from quote stuffing the ballot box by recording before you those ballots leave that polling location uh, let's say in polling location 192 there were 603 people that showed up and cast ballots that day there would be a list posted on the wall that says 603 people voted in this election so when that ballot box makes 
worked its way back to election headquarters for processing. Right. If for some strange reason there's a different number than 603, there's an independent means of determining whether or not extra ballots showed up or maybe some ballots conveniently got lost along the way. Election law is supposed to allow us the ability yeah. to now, check the system. Now, Brad, what, is there a temporary injunction we're looking for, or what are we looking for? What we're looking for is some really quick action to make sure, um, one, because what 80% of the vote this time is going to be mail-in. So what we want is when they're, when they're processing the mail-in ballots, we're going to want them to sort them by precinct. Because automatically, by the way state law works now, is they have to report precinct by precinct what the vote tally is. Right, so they, we want them to immediately start sorting those things, so that as soon as the election night uh, uh, is, is is finished and we have some numbers, then let's quickly go back and start pulling randomly some of these precincts, comparing the numbers. Right, right? so we need them to act pretty quick, and then of course, as soon as the election's done, we need the, a judge to order Pima County because we've not been successful in the past having having any cooperation in doing something um, that would actually make our vote more secure so we need a judge to order them you guys do a random hand count um and and therefore we're no we know that nobody's cheating right so uh, a couple of stories quickly that came out of the paper this morning yeah this was in the tucson news now kld news pima county recorder's office issued a stranger danger advisory to voters they don't want people coming by and picking up your ballot early to a stranger and uh leaving the chain of command to getting it back to them so that that that, that tells you something Second one is there's a, I'm not going to give the person's name, but her name is uh, Molly S. And uh, the recorder's office knocked on her door, came and met with her, and they had a handwriting expert that showed that the signatures on her ballots did not match the ballots that came into the recorder's office and made them revote or asked them to revote. So they caught the bad signatures. So this kind of stuff, folks, is happening. I mean, it's not, it's not a, a boogeyman or, or, or black suburban stuff. This is real life things that are happening real time right now on probably one of the most important local elections we've had in a decade. And Molly, by the way, is a plaintiff. Is she one of the plaintiffs? In, a, in our lawsuit, and I think that's what brought her over. She said, look, if somebody's stealing my vote, and, and it makes sense, man. I mean, if you can control who wins, right. you control everything, everything. where you got, all your tax you dollars go. you got a billion go. three at the county, you got a billion two at the city, you got a lot of money in the line here. And again, it goes back to who's supposed to be running the election. Is it the citizens or some election officials that program a computer or monitor the hardware or whatever? By taking out those checks on the system, you are in essence saying we're concentrating the power to, out, to influence the outcome of an election in the hands of unelected people. That is not what this system was set up to do. We're representative form of government because of the ballot box. If citizens cannot monitor regularly what goes on at every step of the way, we lose our ability to call ourselves a representative now, form of government. How old are those voting, uh, those die holders? Uh, I think since World War One or something <laughs> like that. But they're gonna get new ones after this election. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, now, again, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a, a, last night you did it, right? Yep. Filed a lawsuit. There's uh, everyone, uh, Greens, Republicans, Independents, it's like the Coca-Cola Christmas commercial where everyone, t I like to teach the world. Everybody to holding hands. Everybody <laughs> holding hands. And the defendants are Ann Day, Ramon Valadez, Sharon Bronson, Ray Carroll, Richard Elias, uh, Pima County Board of Supervisors as the defendants. And how do we find out more, or if someone also feels like they've been disenfranchised or they want to help support, how, what do they do? Um, Audit AZ is, uh, is basically the, the group that has um, educated me on um, what I had no idea about was that there really is significant chances that somebody's out there stealing votes. So there's a couple ways. We've created a, uh, um, a, a Facebook page that, you, that people can go to, and it's uh, Pima County Trust But Verify, I think is the name. Pima County Elections. Nice. Pima County Elections Trust But Verify. Go and check it out. We're going to keep people updated on what's going on, and um, any, any uh, uh, contributions would be uh, greatly appreciated. There and, you go. And someone, let's say someone has specific shenanigans they want to report to you guys. Definitely, definitely. We want to hear about anything that is unusual or strange, because that could lead... We, we're, if there are people cheating the election, they're always looking to find new ways to do it. And so people who are watching are always trying to make sure that we've got all the newest methods. So if something weird happens, like to Molly, 
give, give us a nod. Tell us what's going on because maybe something new pops up. I would encourage anyone that has concerns, has questions, to either contact Brad's office. They can contact my campaign. They can contact the Facebook page, the Audit AZ page, uh, the Election Integrity, um, the Pima County Election um, Trust But Verify page as well. Any one of us uh, will have the ability to get you to talk to the right people to, to get the information out there. Uh, you know, it, the bottom line, folks, is it's up to you as the citizen to stand up and demand your rights be restored. Hopefully, with this lawsuit, we can get a judge to say, yes, restore these rights to check the system, restore the ability of the citizens to basically say, Pima County, follow the law. State law allows these things to happen. Stop putting your head in the sand and pretending that these problems don't exist. Well, thanks to Bill Beard running for Pima County Recorder, and thanks to uh, Attorney Brad Roach, and uh, all the folks that are jumping on this. takes a little bravery to go take a hop on a lawsuit against the machine uh, 11 days before election. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah, so your next 11 days hey, are going to be uh, hyperspeed. Lori Oyen, who uh, lost an election to Rodney Glassman, is also one of the plaintiffs on this, too. So. Yep. So, all right, guys, keep doing, keep fighting. Gentlemen, thank you. Watch, right. out, for, watch out for the electrical surges, please. <laughs> <laughs> they can ruin PlayStations and die bolts. All right, so, and other black boxes. 790-2040 is the phone number. Uh, we got Herbie coming on next. We're going to wrap it up. Joe has a very sensitive wrap-up session, I feel like, right at the last two the minutes. Jerry Springer moment. I that, did it every that, week for tonight. <laughs> wake up, Tucson, 1030, KBOI. The voice. All right. All right, boys. Hop in there, Bill. You guys breaky? Hop in there. Chris, you want to get in? Sure. So, Scooch. All right, there it is. Making history. Good one. That'll be the picture that it's going to find six now. months from now. Three of the four men. Yeah, four all men. ten. <laughs> all right, right. So this is hard to <laughs> The Molly story. Your, your face is so <laughs> just so heartwarming. Did Chris did get? She got through red. Yeah, she red X's. They did recognize on our faces. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just, I, I, uh, if I could recommend something, right? Is hey. I'd love to see you interview Senator Karen Johnson about what happened in '96 with the machine. Why don't you send in her and Lori Oyen? We're going to get Lori on next week. Well, she'll be through by phone because she was way up north. So coordinate that with Lori. Yes, Lori. Yeah. Lori wanted to call, and I said, "Come on, we'll do another story oh, next good. week." That that we'll Brad, that's a pleasure, sir. Sure. All right. Get her on next oh, week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and if you, anything, you guys need to come on before something pops up or whatever. All right. Just keep doing it, or call in. We'll do the Pima County voting election update or something. Thanks, yeah. Maybe, All right. Yeah, no problem. Maybe you won your election, Brad. I know. That's what I'm wondering about. Maybe. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Chairman, I'd like to comment that uh, I was not aware that there was a lawsuit pending this uh, issue. I would be joining that lawsuit as a co-defendant, and so therefore I will not be able to attend this meeting or make any commentary. Other than to say that the underlying assumptions here are based on faults and analysis, and the analysis is faulty uh, on its face. Uh, so with that, I'm sorry, I'll have to excuse myself. Thank you. And Tom Ryan. Tom Ryan and Jim. Jim. Are you here, Jim? I sure am. Thank you. Uh, could you just, okay, we, we have you as registered. Jim, you around to. Thank you. Very good. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God.